Hey, welcome to the book zone, because reading is cool. We're coming at you live from Bernie in Tasmania, where uh, I've just released a book, Get Up Mum, and we're going to be talking about that today. I'm here with my best friend, Will, who's one of the first people to have read it. Word so, to your mama. So, now we're going to cross to Will Spill. What did you think of the book, Will? I really enjoyed it. It was fantastic. Um, I didn't want to put it down. I was, um, I was sort of like wrapping myself in a comforting blanket, you know, even though there's these heart-wrenching moments in it. But, um, yeah, I got a lot out of it. And um, especially growing up on the northwest coast of Tasmania, Bernie, we're both northwest bros. Um, it's funny, Will, because we met in... Melbourne in our early 20s, but we actually both grew up in Tasmania, like about five minutes from each other, but we never really crossed paths. Yeah, yeah, exactly. All, all the sort of, a lot of the passages in the book, like I know those locations, like the back of my hand, so yeah, I could really put myself in the picture. I was imagining myself as like a nerdy little childhood extra in a lot of those scenes. Yeah. Do you think we would have got along if we'd, if we'd maybe met up at the Wynyard slot car track? Definitely, or, yeah. Or down Guttridge Gardens, yep. scavenging some hot chips. Yeah, the Wynyard Christmas Parade, <laughs> squirting the floats. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, we would have been tight buds. I'm sure that I must have seen you and your fam cruising around on your beach walks. <laughs> what about Wynyard. Mum's yellow? Do you remember Mum's yellow Volkswagen? Like you, <laughs> would, have, you would have heard it. Pro I'm sure I did. Yeah. <laughs> um, I probably yeah, punched my sisters when I saw it. The punch bug. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they have been responsible for a lot of bruises, <laughs> and uh, I guess, what would you say to maybe um, the dudes out there uh, who, might, who might think a childhood memoir is maybe a bit, bit heavy or something for them, like, mm. do you think, um, you know, do you think dudes can get a lot out of this book? Yeah, for sure, I know that I did, yeah, it's, um, you know, like, you made me feel things, Justin, god damn you. you, you made me feel some stuff. Yeah, right. And I, and I liked it, um, you know. Some of us haven't had, it, like, an emotion since 2006. Yeah. So it can be a big deal, can't it, having all those, the physical reaction of it. Yeah. Was yeah. it odd, having known me for so long, and then, I don't know, reading about these intense moments at home with mum and her mental illness that maybe we hadn't even talked about? A little bit, but, you know, we'd sort of, we've spoken a fair bit about this stuff, so, like, you know, it was filling in some blanks, I guess, but, uh, yeah, as I said, like, there's some heart-wrenching moments, but I never felt like, you know, it was bringing me down or anything like that, like, it was quite the opposite, I was really, like, I think because of the nostalgia from the 90s and, you know, the time I was growing up in, I found it, like, a really comforting sort of experience. Yeah, it's kind of, um, I feel like there aren't a lot of books set in the early 90s, you know, with this level of detail, like even just the thought of a kid sitting down to his, in his beanbag to watch Beyond 2000. Mm. Uh, it's just it's nice to have certain things mentioned, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, I was loving it. There was one chapter in particular where it was like just describing like all these kind of pop culture references and then as you were traveling through the northwest coast of Tasmania, it was just also clear and vivid in my mind, and that's down to your writing style as well. Like, there's so much kind of detail, but like in a really sort of interesting way. Like, it just really brings everything to life. The book sign will be back up to these messages. Old and leaky gutters are unsightly and unnecessary, but this month your local Interline tradespeople are offering a free gutter check, so you don't have to mess around climbing up ladders and risking injury. If your gutters are in good condition, we'll tell you, and it won't cost a cent. If part of your gutter needs replacing, you'll get a free quote to replace it with Interline Zinc Alum Coated Steel Colour Bond Guttering. Minimum joins, no maintenance, no rust. Call Interline today for your free gutter check. It's quite an age we live in, and um, yeah, you probably scrolled past my childhood home, Old Bass Highway, near the clump of pine trees. Right, because that's where you, you live there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Across the road from the beach. It's a good, it's a good part of the world, Wynyard. Very flat. Ne never any waves, though. If you're a, if you're a surfer or a body surfer. Yeah, true. That's another thing I really liked about your book. It was like, um, because you know, the northwest coast of Taz, these towns can get a bit of a bad rap. People call them holes and that kind of thing. But um, like looking back. That's the hole in the ozone layer. Of course, <laughs> yeah, <right? laughs> yeah, yeah. 
Um, but yeah, like looking back, it was an amazing, like really beautiful part of the world to grow up in. And there's like not a hint of sort of like, I guess, irony or kind of, you know, um, ribbing sort of, you know, that it's a bit of a crappy town. <laughs> I don't sound jaded. Yeah, exactly. Uh, at, yeah. at 12. Yep. I guess it's a really good point, actually. <laughs> and it's one of those great points where only certain someone who's maybe lived there and grown up will get, have that level of perspective that... I, I went to such great lengths to keep growing up Justin way out of the picture and um, yeah, I mean at 12 everything was different and often you sort of, sometimes you get asked like what did growing up Bernie, what was that experience like, what, what, you know, what insight does it give you and I think it's only just now that the pennies dropped, it's like oh, we're in nature like all the time, I was going bushwalking with Nan and mm. the beach was right there, the views were incredible and um, you just take it for granted at the time. You have no perspective. And, yeah. You know, when I left Tassie and went to Canberra, I was just like, I lived near the sea the, my entire life. I could see the beach. <laughs> I was just like, where is it? <laughs> and I just freaked right out. Cool, man. Well, that, that, that sounds good. I'm glad you enjoyed the book. Now we're going to get to, uh, whoa, ooh, it's, it's getting, can you feel the chill? Oh, in that's the air? fresh. It just, that time's is... gone so fast chatting with you, Will. It's, it's evening now, and uh, what, a, what a beautiful view of uh, mm. nothing like the sun setting over, uh, over Bernie. That is deluxe. Bernie Beach. Gorgeous. And now it's time for Will's review of Get Up Mum. Here we're bringing up the graphic. What's it going to be? So, so cool. cool. Immense, unbelievable. unbelievable.